Hi, Graz. We are here today for our celebration of World Meeting of Families. It is a wet day in Dublin, but the spirits are very high. We are expecting to welcome, well, thousands of people from all around the world for this event. And it's, it's a great occasion, but it doesn't happen by itself. We are blessed to have, well, thousands of volunteers who are going to be working with all of the pilgrims and helping them to get the most out of their experience. We're talking today with a couple of the volunteers who are going to tell us why they're here and what they expect to get from the World Meeting of Families. So. Uh, hi, Father Alan. Um, I'm Richard John Aba, originally from the Philippines, but I live here for 12 years already. And I'm here for, to volunteer. It's just basically I'm here because I want to volunteer for Christ. It's service for the Lord, giving back to the Lord, and that's it. That's really wonderful. And uh, yourself? My name is Zaley McGrath. I'm here, uh, I'm from Dublin, here in Ireland, and I'm here as part of the public announcement team. So hoping that things will run smoothly and people will know where to go. That is fantastic. And tell me, for the for this week, what we'll have is we've got a whole series of talks and panels, and then, of course, later on, we have the Festival of Families, and then we have the visit of the Pope. Can you tell me, you know, what do you think maybe Ireland will get from this, or all the people who are coming here from around the world? What's going to happen for them, or what are we hoping is going to happen for them during this World Meeting of Families? Uh, yes, Father, basically, uh, I hope that this uh, World Meeting of Families uh, will uh, heal the wounds from the past and make uh, this, uh, this place, uh, the Catholicism in this country will go stronger, the families and just basically with the papal visit will make, uh, uh, making, uh, winning the world for Christ and that's it. Okay. Wow, wonderful, okay, yeah. I'm hoping that it will be a very joyous occasion um, and very uplifting for all involved, uh, especially all of the, of the thousands of people who will be traveling from overseas to be here mm. with us in Ireland and I feel that it's come at an important time and I think it can really energize our, our Catholic Church again. That's right. That's fantastic. And if you had a message for some of the pilgrims arriving here today, what might that be? What could we say to them? What words of advice can we say to those who are coming to Dublin for the World Meeting of Families? Uh, basically, I want them to enjoy the day and uh, enjoy, uh, make, make this event a, a, a meaningful event for, for everyone, especially to to families. Fantastic. Zaley, anything to add? Yeah, I'd, uh, apart from remembering to bring their raincoats, I would, <laughs> I would think that it's, it's their event, it's, 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 it's what they make of it as well, so it's what their participation will bring to it. It's very important. So there you have it. Uh, bring your raincoats, but it won't let it uh, dampen your spirits. It's going to be an incredible few days, and certainly with volunteers like this, I know everyone who comes is going to feel very, very welcome indeed. <laughs>